Are you frustrated with the recent OneDrive Android update that locked you out of your files? Don't worry, because in this video, I'm going to show you a simple workaround to regain access. Stay tuned! If you've been affected by the OneDrive update and lost access to your files, this video might have the answer you need. Watch till the end to find out how to fix it. Hi, I'm your host, and today we're tackling a problem that's been causing headaches for many OneDrive users. The recent Android update is pushing users from personal to business accounts, which can be quite costly. But don't worry, I've got a solution that might just save you from unnecessary expenses. Let's dive into the steps you need to take to bypass this issue and regain access to your files. 1. Uninstall the OneDrive app. First, delete the OneDrive app from your Android phone. This is the crucial first step in resetting the app to a version that works for you. 2. Adjust Google Play Store settings. Before reinstalling, head over to the Google Play Store. Click on Settings, and then the Auto Update Apps. Here, select Do Not Auto Update Apps. This ensures that your OneDrive app won't automatically update to the problematic version. 3. Set Download Preferences. Change your download preferences to Ask Me Every Time. This gives you control over which updates to install, preventing unwanted changes. 4. Reinstall OneDrive. Now, reinstall the OneDrive app. With the auto update feature turned off, you'll be using the previous version that allows access to your files. 5. Manual updates. Remember, with auto update off, you'll need to manually update your other apps. This is a small price to pay for regaining access to your important files. If you found these tips helpful, consider smashing that subscribe button and ringing the bell for more insights every week. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and share it with anyone else who might be struggling with this OneDrive issue. For more useful tips, check out the links in the description or watch this video next. I hope this solution helps you regain access to your files without the extra cost. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.